What is up guys, it is the Chick-fil-A Cows here bringing you a Madden 13 demo gameplay because I downloaded this from the Xbox Live Marketplace recently and if you haven't, I think you should because it's a really fun demo. And I'm kind of going to, I'm not kind, I'm going to do a review of the demo so far since the game hasn't come out yet. And let me tell you why. I buy Maddens about once every two years normally or three years, so I normally don't buy them you know, right when they come out, so I'm kind of a noob at it. But I bought, thought I was going to buy this one, because it looked really good, and with the new Infinity engine, I was like, you know, this one may just be the game that I'm going to buy the day it comes out for Madden, because I normally don't do that. But uh, I think I might have changed my mind, because there are a few things in this game, at least the demo, and I hope these get fixed before the game comes out, and if, the, and if it does, then I'll definitely buy the game, but... These are just, you know, for me, deal breakers, and uh, I'm just going to kind of go through the list and tell you, and you may find this kind of stupid, these observations, but this is just kind of my observations from a noob's perspective of someone who doesn't play Madden all that much, but really enjoys it. So the first one, and this is a bonus, actually, is the Infinity Engine for tackling and running and hitting. It's amazing. I haven't seen one tackle that looked the exact same, and I've been playing this for a few hours, so... No tackles the same. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Like, you can see here, I think right here, look at the players, they just keep tripping over each other. It's really funny that they just keep falling over each other and sitting on each other's faces like that. Ugh, that's disgusting. Ugh, okay, yeah. But you see, things like that, it's kind of funny, but... Um, moving on to defense. Um, this is a negative. In defense, the, ball, the quarterback threw the ball, the opposing team threw it straight to my defensive guy. Well, it bounced off his head and off his chest, but the defensive guy didn't make any effort to catch the ball. It wasn't like he was trying to catch it and it just kept bouncing. It just hit him and bounced off him twice, and he just kept running, like, forward. And that kind of frustrated me. I'm thinking, isn't... You know, I'm, if you're going to drop it, drop it, but at least try to make some effort to catch it. And I don't know if that's the way it's been in previous games, or what. Well, like I said, I don't buy Madden all that much, but... Okay, on... Uh, here's another. This is a negative for me. On third down... I was on defense. On I was the away team on third down, and the other, the, sorry, I'm not talking right. On third down, the offense, the home team offense, had the ball, and my defense started waving their hands, you know, trying to get the crowd into it to get home field advantage. And I'm not sure if they've done that in a few Maddens previously, but I know like in NCAA 09, that's the game I play the most football wise. That's what you do, you know, pump up the crowd. But he was doing it to the away team stadium the home team stadium. That, I mean, that just was kind of stupid to me. I'm like, why is, why are there like six guys on my team waving their hands trying to get the, I mean, it's not their stadium, so that was kind of a little frustrating that they did that, and maybe that's just me being picky, but. Uh, touchdown celebrations. Like, this has happened a few times to me. The guy has caught the ball in the end zone, or ran for a touchdown, and he goes straight through the end zone, and he ran straight through a cameraman. Like, it went right through the cameraman, and he ran right, right through the wall. And out, out, like, right through the wall where the fans are. And just, you couldn't see him. It's like a glitch. And I'm thinking, really? You know, you shouldn't have players running straight through the field, I mean, the end zone, and running right through a wall. That kind of frustrated me also. And I was like, really? I mean... I mean, you guys have, like, a year each year to make a game, and I really don't think that should happen. And maybe that's because the Infinity Engine is new, and I hope that they patch these before the... I'm not sure. I guess they can't fix it before the game comes out, because the game comes out in, like, a week. But I guess they can fix it with updates, I hope, because, I mean, these are some things that kind of frustrate me and the reasons why I won't buy the game, most likely, until it gets cheaper or until they fix these. But the main reason is... Uh, it's definitely going to be the bad commentary. I don't know who the announcers are. I think it's Phil Sims and Jim Nance or something like that. But, I mean, it was extremely repetitive in the demo. Like, I did a 10-yard ten, a ten rush up the middle, and I think it was Phil Sims who's like, you know, that's a that's a good job there. It's uh, the, the... And he just kind of, like, stuttered. I'm, I'm thinking, why is the announcer stuttering? He's like, it's a... And then he went on and said, that's a, the way you win football games, rushing up the middle. You dominate it. So I did a rush up the middle of the next play. You won't believe this. He said the exact same thing again. And two plays later, when I rushed up the middle, he said the exact same thing again. Three, four plays, three times he said the exact same thing. 
And that was really annoying to me. And, uh, just things like that. And dumb commentary, like, it was in the fourth quarter, and I, I was on defense, and the other team had a touchdown lead, and they were trying to run out the clock. Well, it was third down, and I call a timeout to stop the clock. And the announcer goes, that's an interesting timeout. I don't know why they would do that. And, I mean, seriously, you got to stop the clock. I mean, even Madden, I know from, like, four years ago, had better commentary than this one. So that, that was interesting. And another glitch that really bugged me was it showed the kicker warming up, trying to get a kick, uh, a field goal before halftime because there was 40 seconds left on the clock. And it showed him warming up on the sideline. David Akers for the 40, or maybe, I don't know what team he is, but David Akers, white kicker. Most kickers are white. But the character kicking, warming up, it was a black guy. Like, honestly, it was some black guy kicking, and I showed a picture of him, like, on the bottom showing his stats, and it was a white guy's picture. And that that really annoyed me. I'm like, really? You can't even get the player's skin color right? <laughs> I mean, I mean this, I'm paying $60 for this game. It better get the skin color of the players right. I mean, next you're going to see Eli Manning, and he's going to be purple. I mean... I just, I just really think EA should have done better on this game, or whoever the makers are. I'm going to blame EA, because they seem to be the people everybody hates. But, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to buy this game until it goes cheaper, or until they address some of these issues. But uh, let me know in the comments below. This is Chick-fil-A Cows, and I'll see you guys later.